In this video, we're going to be looking at some NoSQL injection, and there are several different NoSQL databases that I am like vaguely familiar with. I am familiar with MongoDB, but that's the only one I've ever worked with. And I think there's like a Redis and a RavenDB as well. So there's a bunch of different NoSQL database frameworks. And in this example, we're going to be dealing with specifically MongoDB, and I'm going to show you how I went about figuring that out. So we're going to be using Hack the Box if you want to follow along with the box. Shopee if you want to get that launched and started. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so here we are. I already have the Shopee.htb added to my Etsy host file and so we would do our normal enumeration but since we're not actually going to walk through this box i'm not going to do the enumeration eventually what you end up finding is this login page and with this login page like always we'll type in admin admin to see what we can find we'll make sure our proxy is turned on we'll intercept the request we will send it to repeater it will tell us that we had the wrong credentials and one of the things we do at this point is we start putting our little single quote everywhere to see if we can find some SQL injection. You can stick it here in the cookies, but I'm gonna go straight for the kill because I know this is where it's at. So we send this and we get it to hang, but if we send that without the single quote, we just get told we are being redirected and we get this 302 redirect right here. If we do a single quote in the password and we send it, it doesn't work for us. But because it hangs right here, it seems to be this is where our injection point is going to be. So the problem here is we need to know what payload to use. So one of the things I like to do is come check Wappalizer and over here, it doesn't really tell us we have a lot of information. We just have in, in, Nginx running on the back. Uh, we have jQuery, which kind of makes me throw up a little bit in my mouth. Um, our React is not lighting up. If this was lighting up blue, it'd be telling us that it's using React, and it's most likely going to be using MongoDB because that is a part of the MERN stack. So if we come back to Shopee here, and you just put something up here in this URL like this, and we hit Enter, we are going to get this cannot get right here. Um, I actually know just by looking at this, if you've been following along with my channel, at all most of the web development I do is going to almost always be using Node.js on the back end and with Node.js typically you use MongoDB but I use SQL because that's what I'm familiar with so with this we can actually just come out to Google and paste that in and it's going to tell us that we are somewhere going to be using node right here so we'll have node.js and what is used with node.js is typically mongodb so the next thing to do is because we know we're using node.js which does netwapalizer tell us no it doesn't it just says nginx so we have node.js running on the back end which most likely is going to go with mongodb which is no sql injection the next thing to do is go to google just like this sql injection and we want mongodb because we're running node and i guess we can say examples and see what comes back we have this top one right here and let's scroll down and see i actually don't think this has what we want inside of it. So we'll go back. We type in payload right here, see if we get anything different. So we type in our payloads. Uh, pretty sure we checked null sweep. Let's see if it's cheat sheet works any better. And finally we hit a payload. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. These double pipes stand for or one equals one instead of actually typing it in like we would with SQL injection. And we got our single quote and we can paste this in right here. I believe we need URL encoding, which is gonna be control U on a Mac. And if we send this, it now says we're being redirected to admin. So we can copy this payload right here, come back to our box and we'll intercept again, type in admin. This really doesn't matter because we're going to change all that. We'll paste in our working payload and we'll forward this forward forward and we can turn that off and we are now logged in here on the admin panel so that would be an example of node sql injection if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments that is kind of how i would go about enumerating and finding the injection point and then finding a payload that is working if i was not familiar with node.js or mongodb so if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments and i'll see you in the next video.